Lise A de taille moyenne. Lisa? Well, I can't lie to you. French is starting to pick up a little bit. It's starting to get a little a little bit more intense. We've got like three quizzes. Three or four quizzes this week and then a chapter test next week. It's not to the point where I break down and cry at night just yet, but you know it's it's slowly getting there. So Emily, y'all had a y'all had a rough weekend preparing for Lunagale? Yeah. Um we were up here most of the weekend, like pretty much my entire weekend was building things and uh, we hoisted a giant ceiling. We rigged it to the structure of the building, and honestly, my body is aching. <laughs> As is the structure of our building. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you got it done, right? It looks great. I'm really excited for it. It's a beautiful ceiling, uh, painted by our lovely paint charge, Kaler, who's also Caroline in the show, so come see Who's it. also aching. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> my shoulders literally gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to come see y'all's play. It's great. <laughs> so I know in the weekend vlog, um, didn't really get to see, actually didn't get to see any of my weekend. You got to see all my parents, which I honestly just kind of wanted to just like show you guys what their experience were. They, they had a really good time. They really enjoyed it. I'm glad that happens, but this is what happened in my weekend. Oh yeah, Sam. Oh yeah, Sam. Oh yeah, baby. You got this shit. You got this, baby. We're at a karaoke club. It's not focusing, but Hell it's yeah. actually too dark to even see anybody, especially Kevin. Especially. I just, hey, I just want So, um, even though I did miss the field goal, still, still kind of shaken up by that, but even though that happened, Whataburger was still kind enough to let me keep the prize bag. So I got five free Whataburger meals, and then I've also got a bunch of, not a bunch of stuff, I got some little knickknacks from them as well. First off, we've got the string bag that all this stuff came in. It's pretty cool, I mean, I don't know how often I'll use it. Uh, I've got a water bottle just in case I ever get caught out in the desert and I, I need some water, I need some water, hopefully I'll fill this up and it'll have a use. I got some sunglasses, which is kind of cool, they got the little stripes on the inside of them. Um, so it says UV eye protection, so the next time there's an eclipse coming around, I'll wear these. And I'll be fine. No, I will not be a blind man. I think we got a frisbee, um, just for fun. It doesn't look very durable, like I don't know if I'll be playing any disc golf with this, but you know, we'll see where it takes me. And then finally, we've got a Waterburger t-shirt. The only problem is this this is an extra large t-shirt. I am not an extra large person. So last Thursday, Friday, last Friday I think, when they had the grand opening of the Mascom building, I was talking to some of the people that work for the the Midwestern like news. Um, program and they today they are having a meeting for like their film club where like they meet up and like they have some scripts and talk about directing and editing and stuff which is 
like obviously an interest of mine is something that I want to do so that's where I'm heading right now see what that's all about and maybe make a movie sometime Be calling that a day for the vlog. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the uh, film group that I went to. It's actually really cool. Um, usually, like whenever I go to like a meeting or something like that, like I still act kind of like shy and just kind of like inclusive, and I'm just there to listen and stuff. But we we got in there and they talked a little bit, and introduced themselves, and they just started talking about movies. They were pitching ideas, pitching stuff that they wanted to do as a group. Um, one of the girls is like she has to make a short film for a project and as a group we're gonna like collectively help her film and edit that and get it done for her and that's something that I've been wanting to do and it's gonna be I think it's gonna be great I think it's gonna be a lot of fun because with the vlog like I get to do some stuff but I don't get to really put to practice and work on the like m the more cine cinematography side of things that I want to do like just working on like movie shot angles and stuff, which is one thing I've I'm like interested in doing, it, which is the uh, um, it's the director of photography, which is basically the person that sets up the angle, the shots, the lighting and stuff to get it perfect for what the director wants. And the director can be both, but I, that's what I want to do is be the the person that sets up the frame, sets up the shot because that's what I think about. That's why I started this was to practice some of that stuff. And like I have gotten to, but it's still just on a different scale, getting to do it for short films and movies and stuff is what I'm really excited for and getting to do with this. Sorry I was talking, I feel like I talked really fast and like kind of slurred some of my words together right there. But like I said, like I'm, I'm, I really am excited about that. I think it's going to be fantastic. I'm also excited for Vlog 100 coming up on Thursday. I need to start fully editing that. It's going to be... It'll, it'll be nice. I'm, I'm excited for it. I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I want to thank you guys for liking, watching, commenting. Don't forget to subscribe, and as usual, it's been a boy package over. Y'all have a nice day.